on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Accordingly, you know what I'm saying? And um, smart women seek wise counsel and wise counsel is often their husbands. You know, when my chick is, is about to go out, you know, a lot of times she'll, I mean, obviously 90 over 99% of the time, she, she already understand how it is that she's supposed to move because like logic said, and I think that logic was hundred percent correct. I don't disagree with not one thing that he said, you are an extension of me. You are the representation of my brand. Right. And so she moves accordingly. When I, if we want to take a more famous example, I think that the most dope savvy, awesome chick that I have the most respect for just because of what it is that she, she dresses like she don't even open her mouth. We don't even know what her voice is half the time in Savannah James. I think that she's a tier above all of these women out here. And so if you want the, a certain level of respect, in my opinion, you have to demand it, not by what it is that you say, but what it is that you represent, especially as a woman, right? Anton, I agreed with you. Like you're saying the same thing about women, but it's going to happen. Well, on here's the, the question, OQ. Because again, JR asked the question about when you're in a relationship or something like that, right? When you so jump in a relationship... Are you removing all of them thirst trap pictures that y'all got up there? If he wants me to, I will. I've done it before. It's all pages of thirst of trap. Wait, can I fake? Can I? Are you deleting your Instagram? I'm not deleting my Instagram, but I personally have. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm being, a lot I'm of the being sarcastic in that. Was on my Logic page. said every picture up there is a thirst trap. So are y'all basically deleting everything? He he can think so. I was doing, I was doing a whole facial. I'm guessing that's a whole thirst trap too. I guess me doing a whole detox, a deluxe facial is a thirst trap. But uh, that's it's subjective. But if if my man wants me to take down pictures, I will do it. I have done it before because of his job. But other the other guys I've dated, they didn't care. Like because they know me and they and how their Instagram is, they don't really care about that. I'll ask questions regarding mm -hmm. that. Like if they feel the way, they feel the way. All right, so that takes me right into my next question um, before you guys say too much on Is it an insecurity if your partner tell you to ease up off those pics? Is it an insecurity if your no. partner tell you to ease up off those pics? I think it really just depends on if how, how um, the scale of appropriate the pics are. Um, if they're like on the line, then it could be seen as insecurity. Like if they're time and place, if they are, you know, tasteful, it can be seen as insecurity. But if they're obviously like, it's just no different than like the way that I used to dress and the way that I dress now. There, there are ways that I dress, you know, different when you're in a relationship versus when you're single. That's just kind of how it is. So you kind of manage your social media in the same way. Like sometimes some mm -hmm. of those really thirst trap pictures you used to post, you, you know, may not post all three of those and you'll just post the, the one straight front on one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I think that is the best way to like mitigate it. But again, it all depends on the comfort of your partner and y'all got to make like, you know, concessions. Like you can't oh, go, wait, you need to delete your Instagram page. Like, listen, we're not doing that. So we got to find like some kind of other like. Why do you dress different depending on if you're a relationship or not? I'm just curious. I don't, you know, I don't have any judgment whatsoever. I'm just curious. Why do y'all dress different if you're in a relationship or not? Um, because I don't want as much attention. I don't want to, I don't, I just don't even want to deal with it. Um, so the, <laughs> those types of way I'll just, the stuff that I used to wear when I was single, I just wear when I'm out with him. But if I'm out, not out with him, then I'll do like, a, do a little bit less just so I'm, you know, let's give, let's give the available women some opportunity anyway, you know? Mm, I'm, mm, I don't, I don't agree upon that. I agree what she was talking about when you scale back, when your relationship's relationship regarding taking pictures and stuff like that and as i said it's just depending on the person the comfort of that person and what he likes but will i delete my instagram yeah shoot that's social media that doesn't mean nothing to me um regarding that topic um i have had um, one of my exes saying hey take a take your pictures down um he was i was okay with it and i archived them he just he didn't want me pictures by myself he said he only wanted pictures that um with my family um, he didn't want any pictures with no with makeup on. He didn't want. He was very demanding. Yes, he was real controlling on that well, aspect. Was, but uh, I was okay with it. Christ. But but I was okay with I was okay with that though. Like I I'm I'm understanding on that like regarding his job and everything. So I was okay. Man, but, uh, I'm gonna tell you this. I would never tell a woman to take some pictures down. I would never. I'm not even focused. I don't even have that much time to really be figuring out what she got going on and what she's doing on Instagram. If if you move a certain way, then that woman 
that woman should automatically understand how you're moving. Now, there are some ex exceptions. Now, if you had this big corporate job and you just, you know, like you up there in the ranks, she should naturally understand that in most cases and that she should just fall in line. She knows she's not supposed to be posting stuff up there like that. I mean, because she understands how you move. So, men, I understand that the women are saying that it's okay. But in my opinion, I'm not going to tell a woman, like, to take a picture down. I, I think it's a it's a red flag for men. I think that the woman, most women, you know, there are some exceptions, but most women will view that as being weak and, and insecure and, you know, you're not comfortable, um, you know, being a man that you're supposed to be. That's just my opinion. What are you guys' thoughts? I think it's levels to it. I think if if I'm just smashing, I don't give a fuck. Uh, if we dating, I still don't care, but you know what? I might be a little concerned. And then if I'm married, then she definitely not going to have that because she represents me at that point. And if we got kids, she represent our kids. So I don't understand. I think the, the marriage part with kids, that's the only point that I get to where I really care because all these kids got social media now. And I can't just bear have my son or my daughter sitting here looking at their moms on a, on a uh, IG like that, and their friends possibly finding their moms and their dad on IG like that. So that's the levels that I have, my three stages. Hey, Logic, I want to bring this up because there was uh, something I sang out there with Nicki Minaj refusing to do certain songs now because she's a parent. So that was her decision. You know, she's, you know, she's the breadwinner in the house. And, and that was her decision to make. So she automatically knew that when she became a mother that she was supposed to move accordingly. So if you have a woman that's out there that that doesn't realize like where she is at in her life, then it makes me question, like, what else is she doing inside yeah. of her life? That's reckless. Yeah. So if you can't if you can't figure that out. <laughs> To me, it's gonna to be too much energy on, on trying to train. If you got to train on that, you got to train on a lot of other things too as well. I can only imagine how much <laughs> how much thought that you got to put into you know molding her. Like, damn, like I've been telling this over and over and over again. You still get you still doing shit. It's too much energy for me. It's like raising another child. But I mean, women are like children. Women are like children in a, in, a, in a lot of ways. Like they need to be trained. They need to be molded. <laughs> um, I've trained and molded my chick and I'm still training her and molding her accordingly. You know what I'm saying? And, um, smart women seek wise counsel and wise counsel is often their husbands. You know, when my chick is, is about to go out, you know, a lot of times she'll, I mean, obviously 90 over 99% of the time, she, she already understand how it is that she's supposed to move because like logic said, and I think that logic was hundred percent correct. I don't disagree with not one thing that he said. You are an extension of me. You are the representation of my brand, right? And so she moves accordingly. When I, if we want to take a more famous example, I think that the most dope, savvy, awesome chick that I have the most respect for, just because of what it is that she she dresses like, she don't even open her mouth. We don't even know what her voice is half the time in Savannah James. I think that she's a tier above all of these women out here. And so, if you want the, a certain level of respect, in my opinion. You have to demand it, not by what it is that you say, but what it is that you represent, especially as a woman, right?